Hello friends, welcome again to this problem solving session. I hope you are keeping a good pace of problem solving because uh, to ace mathematics, you need to solve as many problems as possible. So continuing with our practice of solving problems, this is another question I have come up with. So this question says if a plus b plus c is equal to 6, the value of a plus b plus c is given and bc plus ca plus ab value is also given that is 11 you have to find the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc the moment you see this you your you know the first thing which should come to your mind is the identity special identity which we learned and that is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is equal to what first a plus b plus c this is the first factor and multiplied with the second factor which is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square minus minus a b minus b c minus c a isn't it so hence very clearly we have been given uh, a b plus b c plus c a the value is has already been given so now we have to just figure out uh, what will be the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc right okay fair enough now in this question we are going to utilize one more identity now if you see closely in this particular problem uh, we know the value of a plus b plus c isn't it that is 6 but we do not know the value of a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca is also known why because if bc or i'm writing it like ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 11 then minus ab uh, minus bc so minus ab and minus bc and minus ca will be equal to negative 11 simply so this is known to us but one thing which we don't know is what is the value of this particular term a square plus b square plus c square if I somehow find out a square plus b square plus c square, then my job is done. I will simply deploy all the values here and we'll get this value, isn't it? So, but how to find out a square plus b square plus c square? Now, again, if a plus b plus c is known, do I not know, you know, there's an identity which is related to this, which is nothing but a plus b plus c whole squared is what you know already. It is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca isn't it we know this already now we are going to use this identity to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square which is required in this step okay so tell me what will it be so i can write a plus b plus c whole squared minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca will be equal to a square plus b square plus c square i simply did what i simply took all this to this left hand side okay and rearranging you can you can now write what can you say about a square plus b square plus c square it is nothing but so hence i write a square plus b square plus c square is equal to a plus b plus c whole squared and if you see i can take minus two common out of these three isn't it this three I can take minus 2 common and I can write AB plus BC plus CA. Now, thank God we have been given these values, isn't it? Now, A plus B plus C was given to be equal to 6. See here. And BC plus CA plus AB or AB plus BC plus CA, whichever way you want to say, it's 11. So, it is nothing but 6 squared minus 2 times 11. So, which is nothing but 36 minus 22, which is equal to 14 isn't it so hence we got a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 14 now what we have to just deploy all the values here so hence now we know that a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c is equal to a plus b plus c which value is anyways known which is 6 and then a square plus b square plus c square value we just found out which is 14 minus a b plus b c plus c a right i have taken minus sign common minus sign common so hence this value is nothing but 11 so just deploy it is nothing but 6 into 14 minus 11 which is equal to 
6 into 3 which is equal to 18 right so see using the knowledge of algebraic identities we could solve this problem and let's revisit once again so what was told what was given a plus b plus c was given that is 6 bc plus ca plus ab was given that is 11 we have to find out a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c how did we do that we know that a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c equals a b c a plus b plus c times a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca this one we knew these values two of the three values were known a plus b plus c was known this was known but this was not known so hence we used another identity which one here it is and using this identity we could figure out what is the value of a square plus b square plus c square and then finally we deployed the value in the given identity here and we found the value to be equal to 18. So in the same problem keep in mind that you might need to use more than one type of identity.